Hello, friends. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've streamed. How is everyone today? On this fine, what is it, Friday? Is it Friday? Also, Ryan, I totally saw what your message said. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. I usually don't swear on my streams. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> hello, Jenna. What is up? Welcome back. Hello, hello. Brian. Ryan. Chris. Hello, welcome. George. Hello. <laughs> Mimi. Hello, hello. Beck. Welcome. How is everyone today? Great. <gasps> Wobbler, wob, wobble bear trail. I never can say your name. Say that five times fast. Yeah. Okay. Meant to say it to George. <laughs> Sorry, Jenna. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> wobble bear, bear trail is the one that actually named the board game garden. Fun fact. <clears throat> so we are going to be playing Bark Avenue today which I am very excited about because my dog Penny is in it. So I don't think I'm starting with Penny in the game. You, you have like one starter dog. I didn't want to just start with Penny. I kind of want to have the excitement of like flipping her over in the deck and like going to actually pick her up and then walk her. So yeah, we're not going to start with Penny, but we are hopefully going to take her out of the deck at some point during the game. <laughs> All right, so it is one thirty. Let's get to it. I know pretty much how to play. I did do a preview on this this game, so I do know how to play it. It's just been a while. Um, also, I am playing their solo mode, which when I did the preview of Bark Avenue, they didn't have the solo mode ready. So this is my first time playing the solo mode of Bark Avenue, um, and I'm very excited. It's actually a very simple solo mode um, where the AI, you're actually going against two like uh, competition dog walkers. If you, do, if, if you guys do not know, Bark Avenue, basically you're a dog walker in New York and you are trying to make the most money as a dog walker. And in the solo mode, you are going against two competition AI dog walkers. And they're not really doing much on the board. Um, they do have meeples on the board, but they are pretty much just going to be gaining points for whatever dogs you leave for them. So you're kind of trying to um, take the dogs away from them that you think is going to score them a lot of points. So, yes, I'm excited for this game. I'm so excited to show you guys. I, I genuinely really enjoy this one. Um, so let me move you guys down here, which I will say it's pretty far out, but this board is pretty big. So um, this is the main board. So you have the uh, north, south, north, south, east, west, I think. So this is the east side. This is the west side. I think um, we are only going to be playing on the west side. The east side is closed. I can walk my dogs up until this point. So I can walk them in Central Park. Um, I just can't go over to the east side. Um, in a three or four player game, you do, and five, it goes up to five players. You do play with this side of the board, but for a one and two player game, you only play with one side of the board. So. All of the dogs that we have are living over here. <laughs> what if a dog gets loose and goes to the east side? <sighs> There's no getting it back. It's going to be lost forever. <laughs> That's what happens. Also, please let me know if my audio is okay. Um, I think it's fine. I could move my mic a little bit closer to me. Um, I think that's okay. It's not going into the green, though. 
I don't know why my my like audio is not really great. I need to figure out why it is not being good these days. Um that's a that's a long dog walk thinking about my own visits to New York City. Yeah. So you're pretty much going to be, um, this is a pick up and deliver game. So you're going to be picking up dogs. You're going to be walking them around, trying to get them to do some of their favorite things and some of the owner's favorite things that they want you to do with their dog. So each dog is going to have one of their favorite things, which is either going to be uh, the hydrant, the ball, or the water. And then they're also, the owner is going to want you to take a picture of your, of their dog. And then also if their dog poops, that's another thing that is going to get you points. Those are the three main things that you want to get done on a dog's walk. Um, and then if you manage to get all three of them done, um, for everything you do get done, you get two, two money and tip, I believe. Um, so I actually can zoom you guys in to my board here so you can see, um, Every player does start with two personal objective cards and two dog cards. So I am going to be choosing one of these and discarding the other. Um, but yeah, you guys can see here that I can walk three dogs at a time. I can't walk a third dog until I unlock a certain thing here on my board. So as of right now, I can only walk two dogs at a time until I unlock that. Um, and yeah, you're going to be walking your dog, trying to get these specific things to get as many tips as you can. Um, so let's see what dogs I have here to choose from. Oh, they're so cute. So this red one here, this is a foster dog. So when you walk a foster dog, you don't get any money for it. It is just you volunteering to walk a foster dog, but <clears throat> walking a foster dog does get you a like certain objective. Um, so I think for the start of the game, um, I think I might, I might do, uh, Killen. He's very cute. Look at him. He's so cute. Um, they could have made the board modular if the board is that big. It might help to be able to just not have the forbidden area on the table yeah they could have for sure i feel like this one is probably going to be a game that is more likely to be played with a lot of players um and also i don't know yeah they, they definitely could have done that um Uh, I love to see this uh, getting a live solo playthrough. Such a fun game. If you like the dog theme, I enjoy Dog Park quite a bit too. Yes. Hello, Stephanie. Welcome to the stream. I actually do have Dog Park as well, and I really enjoy Dog Park too. Um, I also have the new Tricks expansion, which I covered on my channel, and that I feel like adds a lot to it because um, personally for me, I felt like Dog Park was a little bit too simple and with that new tricks expansion it adds a little bit more um of like a you know more strategic game more strategic things added to the game i guess so yes um okay so the only thing with killen is that um he does require to be walked alone which i think is fine i think i'm okay with that He's very cute. Oh my goodness. So cute. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. This is going to get put to the bottom of the pile. And then we're going to look at the two objectives here. Dog Whisper, $4 per solo dog walked, which Killen is actually a solo dog. So this one, oh, both of these. <laughs> oh no. So $4 per solo dog walked is one. Um, and then this one here is slow and steady, $5 per three um, speed walked, which both of these apply to Killen. So what do I feel like I can better do? I'm thinking I might go with slow and steady. Um, this one actually 33.3% of the cards are this or have the three speed. 
and you get five dollars per so i feel like this will be easier to do because there's more cards that have that um and i get more money per so if i can kind of stick to getting um mainly three speed dogs i think that'll be really good so this one i will discard And we are going to get into this. My meeple is going to go. Let me zoom you guys out again. Yay, we can see Penny. Yeah, Penny will be in here somewhere. Um, I'm hoping she's like towards the top of the pile. I just shuffled her in. So we better hope that she actually comes out during the game. Um, and that the AIs do not get her. So, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to put these... Can you guys see those? Basically what is going to happen with the AI is we're going to flip over these two cards and the AI, so there's going to be two AIs, they are going to be gaining whatever cards are here every other round. So if there are two dogs here um, or whatever dogs are here at the end of this round or at the beginning of this one round actually, they are going to acquire these and then whatever uh, amount of money they get per specific thing, they are going to gain that much money per that dog. So for example, right now, this is the blue star and this would be the dog that they would get. They would take this and put it beside their card here. And for this AI, they're going to be getting six points per medium dog. Nico is a large dog, so they wouldn't get that. Um, this is $3 per shoe number, so I think that would be $3 times 5, which they would get 15 uh, money for that. And then also they will get $4 if it's a hydrant, $2 if it's a tennis ball, which Nico is, so he would get $2 for that. Um, so in total, this dog, Nico, would get this AI 15 plus 2, so they'd get 17 for Nico. So I kind of have to calculate like how many points or how much money the AIs are going to get for the dogs that are here. So yes, hopefully that makes sense. Um, please let me know if you want me to clarify that. Um, but the blue AI is going to be going for medium dogs. That's what's going to get them the most points as well as dogs that walk um, longer or have like a speed, a larger speed. Um, they're also going to get the most points for dogs with uh, fire hydrants. And for this yellow AI, they're going to get the most points for small dogs. They are also going to get the most points for dogs that are out for longer. So the paw print symbol here is going to be how many rounds you can be walking that dog uh, for before it needs to go home. Um, and then this one is going to get most points for the tennis balls. So... Let me see if I can zoom you guys in here. So those are the two cards there, and that's what the AIs are going to be scoring for. Oh, you already pulled my, my Charlie, that lovely Boston. Where? Is he on the, the east side, Ryan? Let me know. Is that what you mean? I think I put the dogs back in the box. Or I guess, oh no, you mean this one. Is that what your dog looks like? That's so cute. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember what it means when a dog's tag is gold. I don't know what it means when a dog's tag is gold. Upper left, Boston Terrier. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Hello, Carly. Yay, live stream from Jenna. This game looks so cute. Carly, I just want to say congratulations. Carly had her baby, everyone. Sir Beckham. Sir Beckham the first. So freaking cute. Congratulations, Carly. Hopefully you're doing well. Resting. Hello from Nottingham, UK. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, Chris. 
Everyone say congrats to Carly in the chat. All right. So am I zoomed out? We are zoomed out. Okay. So because um, Killin starts at 72 West End, I'm going to be starting in one of these four spots here. Um, so I'm going to go... Let me put these like that. I'm going to go here, like so. That'll be me there. Baby Beckham in the house. So this means, Car this means Carly is coming to level up now. That baby is out and about, right? Oh, I wish, Brian. I wish. Maybe she is. We'll see. It's in, what, two months? The baby will be two months old? You could just bring Beckham. <laughs> I would I would take care of him for you. <laughs> um, hi, I found this game unplayable since they missed uh, most important breed. Oris Orisir? I have never heard of that breed. But I am I'm so sorry that they, they didn't include that breed. They included a heck of a lot of breeds, so, and I, I understand that they cannot include every single breed known to man, because there are, I think, like, thousands of breeds of dogs, right? I think there is. <laughs> All right. So. Taking a look at the dogs that the AI are going to get <laughs> I don't think I don't think I mind either of them getting those um, yeah because neither of them are matching the size dog that they want um, they do have pretty high uh, paw and speed numbers but I think I'm fine with just letting them have those. So what you're going to do on your turn, um, if this was the beginning of a round, this would, or actually, if this was any other round other than the first round, this would go down. Um, so on the next round, I'm going to be flipping over an event card, but I'm not doing that right now. Um, and then when we go down to this, these two dogs are going to be given to the AI. Um, and then you're going to continue doing that all the way down to the bottom, and that's going to trigger the end of the game. Um, but pretty much, the AIs are not going to have a turn. So I'm literally just going to be taking my turns simultaneously, or not simultaneously, but one after the other. So. In Dog Park, um, there is... Eurisir. So it's getting advantage. Hey, that's understandable. That is very understandable. <laughs> I wish. Unfortunately, I won't be able to go to level up. Hopefully next time. Jenna, you are the sweetest. I would totally bring Beckham and let you watch him for a bit. Aww. Well, I'm, I'm hoping to see you at some point next year, Carly. I miss you. And we need to play more games. But I totally understand. You need to spend time with that baby. That sweet boy. Okay, so on my turn, I'm going to be looking at the dogs that I have walking, and we are going to be looking at the lowest number on the uh, speed icon here. So Killen has a speed of three. If I had another dog and that dog was a lower speed number, you would be going the uh, lowest of the two. So because Killen is the only one that I have, I oh, also... This is going to start on one. So I am going to... Hmm. I'm going to go... Oh, wait. Nope. Not quite yet. Before you do anything, you roll the die. So if you are in the city, you're going to roll the white die. If you're in the park, you're going to roll the green die. This is when you hope that the dog poops. Nope. But this is a pigeon. And whatever direction this is, so if you guys can see this, it is an arrow with a pigeon. 
it kind of landed like this. So it is primarily facing the right. So that means that the first move that I do has to be um, to the right. So that's fine because that is what I was going to do regardless. And I'm going to go, I have to move three. So I am going to go one, two, three to here. Okay. I did not get Kellen to poop. Um, I can either do, do I start with any money? I don't know if I actually start with any money. Please hold. I don't think I do, so I don't think I can. Oh, I do also have to grab my little things. Um... Yeah, so I don't start with any money. Um... I need to double check that these biscuits, they do, yeah, pet shop, buy treats, buy any number of treat tokens from the supply for $2 each by discarding an equal number of tip tokens. So I do not have any tip tokens, so hmm. Move, actions. Okay. So the action that I'm going to take is I'm actually going to pick up a dog. So I moved three. One, two, three. I'm in 72 in Amsterdam. It has two icons here that I could perform, which is either the fire hydrant. If Kellen had fire hydrant as his favorite thing, which he doesn't, he has water, I could add a like favorite thing token, a little dog wag token there but that's not their favorite thing um, or i could purchase a uh, pet treat and the pet treat allows you to kind of ignore one of the dog's specific things that they uh want oh my goodness brian <laughs> yay for collie <laughs> collie <laughs> yay for carly and call Catan. oh my goodness i can't do it I need them to come out with a five to six player expansion for 3D Catan. Does anyone know if they have that? Does anyone know if they have a five to six player expansion for 3D Catan? I need to know. Yeah. I can't buy... I can't buy things until I unlock the pet shop, which is this one. Thank you so much for the uh, super chat, Brian. I appreciate it. <laughs> Just joined the stream to hear I did not get him to poop. Interesting spot to jump in. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, well, this is topical. I just got back from walking my dog and she didn't poop either. <laughs> oh, isn't that the worst? You're like, why did you not take the opportunity? Come on. <clears throat> okay. I need to turn off this heater. Please hold, everyone. <laughs> I agree with Brian. Call it. No way, man. No way. Maybe. We'll see. I might be able to just use the five, six, five to six player expansion from the original Catan in the 3D Catan. It's just two players won't have the fancy like 3D components, which will kind of be a bummer for them. All right. Let me quickly just remember. You may perform one action. This can either be pick up a dog, neighborhood action, or drop off a dog. Okay, that's what I was wondering. So I could do either one of these, but I do not want to. So I'm going to be picking up a dog at 72 in Amsterdam, which is Miss Emma. 
This is actually uh, Mackenzie and Jonathan's dog. Fun fact. Um, and she is going to be going here. So cute. Adorable. And then she is going to start with the paw there. And I believe that is everything. This gets pushed over. This gets flipped. And then at the end of this round, we're going to move that paw. Actions guide, to-do list. Roll die. Move. Actions. Forge track. Then flip. Okay. We good. We good. So Emma is also a three speed, which is great. Oh, shoot. I can't do that. Never mind. Kidding. Can't do that. I forgot that Kellen is a solo dog. Shoot. No. Are you kidding me? Okay, so maybe I'm going to take back what I did here. I do have to still do my first move this way. So I'm going to go one. One, two, three. No. One, two, three. So I'm going to go actually to Columbus Circle. I am going to perform one of the um, spots here. So I'm going to take a picture. There we go. Boom. That's my actual turn. I did not pick up a dog. I just did one of these actions. All right. All right. So that's everything there. I'm just going to move on to my next turn. So I'm then going to go one, two, three. I'm going to do what is here, which is I'm going to do the water. That means I'm going to put this here. We're going to go here. Oh, shoot. I'm a ding dong. Guys, I'm tired. Can you add to that golden solo dog? I cannot. You got it. Uh, Jenna, do you have memberships in enabled? I do. I think I do now. Um, is it like an option that you guys can see? Because I did like kind of work on like getting everything a little bit connected with that. Hi, I hope everyone is good. Natalie Green, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Also, Board Gaming Crew, hello, hello. Merlin's Manor, hello. Uh, I hope the game is going well. Um, the game's going well. My brain, not so much. I keep on forgetting about things. So before I move on to my next turn, I have to roll the die again. Derpy derp. So there we go. We got a poop. The poop is going to be added here. And then that is the end. Or no, that is the beginning. Oh my goodness. I'm confused now. What did I do? End of first turn. Beginning of this turn. I'm going to go one, two, three. So we're on my second turn. One, two, three. Uh, I'm going to get... I'm going to do his favorite thing which is splashing in a puddle. And then that is the end of my turn there. We're going to start from the beginning, y'all. Good Lord. <laughs> so I need to, I think I'm just like speeding through this. I need to, I need to go back to the beginning, back to the beginning. What is happening? I keep on forgetting that I need to move this forward. I think it's just weird to me that like I don't have to do anything for the AI aside from when I get to here. So I feel like it's kind of like throwing me off that like I just get to do my turn back to back to back. So yes, let's try this again. I rolled the die. The pigeon was here. I moved one, two, three. 
My one action for this turn is that I'm going to take a picture. So that was my one action. I then move the uh, walk token one forward, and then we move on to the second round. This is what I forgot. We then move the sun tracker down one. We then have to flip over an event. So the events are up here. The event that I have here is lawn closed. So if you start your turn in the park space, roll the city die instead of the park. So I don't have to worry about that because I am not going to the park right now. All right, so that is everything for my first turn. We are then going to move on to my second turn, which technically I did roll the poop, but let's just go from here. We rolled the pee, <laughs> so that means that nothing happens, unfortunately. Um, but I am gonna go one, two, three. I'm gonna perform one action from here, which is that I'm going to do his favorite thing, which is splashing in a puddle. So there we go. And then we are going to move this forward. Because he has a uh, walk of three, we're going to move that over and that means that he is now ready to go home. So I'm gonna have to get him home in two more turns. So we are then going to move on to the next turn. I'm gonna move this down to here which whenever you go down to this here, which is the, I think it's like competition symbol, that means that you're going to be taking the two dogs that are with the AI's stars and we are going to be placing them here and here. I don't know if you score them right away or if you just, I think you just leave them until the end of the game. So I'm gonna do that. Flip over the next two dogs. Penny has not come out yet. That makes me very sad. <laughs> okay, so then that is the start of the round. It is now my third turn. So I'm going to roll this again. Hopefully, Killin poops. Come on. Good boy. Good boy, Killin. So good. So we have the squishy poops. I don't know if you guys can see this. Real squishy. Um, I don't see membership. Um, anyone already a member? So I might just not have it available yet. I just started, um, I think it was like two days ago. I like started to work on it and I'm not sure that I've actually set it to go live. So it will be happening soon. It's just funny that you asked that because I was actually working on it. Um, so Yes. Also, welcome back, Mimi. Welcome, welcome. Been holding, uh, been looking for some games for the holidays. My family likes games with simple rules. Any suggestions? Mmm. Oh, it's a meese. Hello. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's see. Any simple rules? How simple are we thinking? Are you thinking like, Hmm, what's like a really, really simple game? Are you thinking about like party games or do they actually want like a board game board game? Let me know. Yeah, you're not crazy, Brian. I don't think I've set it to go live yet. It's just funny that you asked that. All right. So he pooped. And then I think I'm actually going to just go one, two, three. And I am for this turn going to drop off Kellen. So Kellen is all done. Kellen did do all three of the things that he needed to do. So that is going to get me two money two dollars per thing so I got six dollars for that and then Kellen is going to give me sixteen dollars so I'm gonna get six or yeah six six so that's twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen there we go I got lots of money six times three is hold up I think I got way too much money there. Six and six is 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, there we go. 
My brain is not braining today. Apologies, friends. This is probably all over the place. It's been a long time since I have streamed. <clears throat> uh, like, so clover, herd mentality, etc. Ooh, okay. Um, I definitely recommend... This is a very funny game, but it is so entertaining. Um, it is called That is That's Not a Hat. That's Not a Hat. I always have to say it like that for some unknown reason. But That's Not a Hat is very fun. Um, I definitely recommend that one. Uh, hmm. Green Team Wins is very fun. Ooh, and Doodle Dash. Doodle Dash is a good time. I definitely recommend those ones for sure. Of course I asked it at an opportune time. I'm a wizard. We ask at exactly the right time. Uh, but maybe more competitive. Ooh, okay. Um, green team wins is a good one. I get pretty competitive in green team wins. Um, Doodle Dash can get pretty competitive as well. Um, That's Not a Hat is more of like a, a silly game. It's like a memory game. Um, hmm... Catch the Moon. If you guys are looking for, like, a dexterity game, Catch the Moon is very fun. <clears throat> um, and Time's Up. Time's Up is always my favorite, like, party game. Time's Up or Monikers is probably my favorite party game of all time. I was going to say that's not a hat. I need it so bad. Oh, Sam, it's so good. I love it. You call that a knife? That's not a knife. <laughs> now this, this is a knife. <laughs> Jenna will forever be my that's not a hat partner. <laughs> Sitting next to each other at level up, I had to remember all the things she passed to me. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Brian. <laughs> oh, that was great. Okay, so I've, I've dropped off Kellen. That is everything for my turn. Usually I would put the paws forward, but I have no dogs. So it is now the next round. So we're going to go here. This is going to get discarded. A new event is going to come out, which is an ongoing event. And this is Curb Your Dog. If you start your turn in a city space, do not roll the city die. Oh, Okay, so I am starting in a city space, so sadly I won't be able to roll the city die, which is fine because I don't have any dogs right now. Um, so, if you do not have a dog, your basic movement is four. So I can move four spaces. <clears throat> My goal right now is to pick up Emma. I think that's what I want to do. If I pick up Emma... These are going to be shifted, so this will then go to the blue, which is fine, because it's a small dog, so I'm okay with that. This will then go to the yellow, which that's actually a medium dog, which is good, because yellow is looking for small dogs. Only thing is, he is going to get the AI 3 times 5, 15 points. Ugh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Blue is looking for medium dogs. Yellow is looking for small dogs. So if I leave Gremlin there, which adorable, um, which also, I will also say, when I dropped off Kellen, I can put one of my stars on here. I can actually put one on Solo Walk. I'm going to put it on solo walk. Um, and I think I'm going to do the one that allows me to buy biscuits and coffee. So I'm going to put this on one of these solo walk spots here. And that's going to allow me to unlock one of these things on my board, which is awesome. <clears throat> okay. Um, which also, as well, 
Because these dogs are different, the AIs are going to move. So blue is going to go to 72 in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. <laughs> and then yellow is going to go to 96 in Amsterdam. So they're going to actually move up here. Hey, Jenna. So awesome to see you playing through the solo mode of Bark Avenue. Hello. I don't know if it's uh, Mackenzie or Jonathan or both, but yeah, I'm very excited. This is fun. How are you guys? Um, Hues and cues is pretty simple and pretty fun. I do like Hues and cues as well. That one can get pretty competitive as well. The truth comes out. <laughs> Didn't she say like two weeks ago that they were repeating bitches in boats or something like that? She's all gangsta like that. My friends, Kat and I, and uh, Steph. Uh, Kat, Steph, and I. There we go. Um, we have a group and we call it boats and bitches so that's that <laughs> okay thank you so much tear dice games for coming into chat i appreciate it so now that what did i do oh yes for kellen i did solo walk i got this off of here so now i can purchase biscuits and coffee which is good so now I need to figure out if I want to pick up Emma or if I want to pick up Tegan. I don't know what is going to give the AIs the most. That's my only thing. Because if I leave Emma with the blue, she's going to give them... Actually, not much. She's going to give them... She's not, a, she's not a medium dog, so they're not going to get anything for medium. She has a speed of three, so it's going to be three times three, so they're going to get nine plus... She likes the fetch, so it's going to be 11 points if I leave Emma for the blue. Um, gremlin, if I leave the gremlin for the yellow, he's a small dog, so they're going to get, unfortunately, six points for that. He has a length of walk of three, so it's going to be nine. Nine plus six is 15, and then the water is two, so they're going to get 17 for that one. Ugh. That's a lot of points. But I think... I just want Emma because I know that Teradice is in chat and that's their dog. How is Emma? How is Emma, Mackenzie, and Jonathan? She's the cutest thing in the world. Um, huh, let's see. So if I go one, two, three, four, I can maybe buy a coffee for that turn. And then one, two, three, four. I can pick up Tegan. Tegan has five turns that I could walk around and do something else. Yeah, I think I might do that. Because I think if I take Emma and they shift over, the AIs are still going to get more than what they are now. So I'm going to go two, three, four. I'm going to purchase a coffee, which I believe is two points or two money to purchase a coffee. I need to remember how much it is to purchase a coffee. I think it is always two. Two, and then the treats are also two. Okay. So I'm gonna purchase a coffee. I'm gonna discard a two, and I'm gonna grab a coffee. Coffees are going to allow you to do an extra action on your turn twice. So whenever I use this once, I'll flip it over. And then when I use it a second time, I discard it. So that's going to be there. It's a full coffee for now. And I am now going to not move anything. You would typically move up the paws, but I don't have any dogs. Um, so then it is back to the beginning. So we are going to move this down. This is going to be added to here, and this is going to be added to here. These are going to be moved over. 
flip flip okay she's sleeping but still needing her walk for the day oh she's loving her doggy advent calendar treats we have been giving her every day oh my goodness I am honestly regretting my decision to not get Penny and Walt advent calendars. Um, there is a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So coffees are two and you can only buy one at a time. And bones are two, but you can buy as many as you want. Yes. Um, yeah, I have so many YouTubers that I watch that give their dogs advent calendars and every time I see them giving their dogs like advent calendars or opening their dogs advent calendars, I wish I got Penny and Walt one. I've gotten Penny ones in the past, but most of the time the treats, because Penny is so small, most of the time the treats are just too big for her. And then she ends up with just a bunch of treats that I don't want to give to her because she's already a chunky girl. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it's best for them not to have an advent calendar, but I still am very sad about it. <laughs> I wish I got paid for walking my dog. <laughs> it's like he pays me. Oh my gosh. So funny. All right. So that is that. We're now going to move on to the next round, which we still have the curb your dog in. Uh, it's, it's active. So I still am in a city spot, so I don't roll the die. So then I am now going to do what I said I'm going to do. I'm going to move one, two, three, four. I'm going to pick up Tegan, put her here, and I think I might actually use, oopsie, these need to be taken off, boop, 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 also Tegan will start here, um, do I want to use this to do, I think I do, I'm going to flip over my coffee to do an extra action, and I'm going to do the take a picture action. So I will put that here. And that is everything for my turn. This is going to be advanced to there. And we're going to move on to the next round. We're going to get a new event. Boom, boom. Discard. Flip this over. Pet carrier. You may take the train while walking dogs. Ooh, good to know. That's fun. Okay. Um, so I now have a walking speed of three. Tegan likes fire hydrants, so, oh, also, these need to get moved over. Oh, yes, the gold is for solo dogs. That's what it is. I, like, couldn't remember for some reason why... Some of them were gold, and it's because the gold is for solo dogs, um, and then silver is for group dogs, and then the reddish pink color tags are for foster dogs. There we go. Um, oh yeah, these move. So this one is going to move to 86 and west. This is going to move to Columbus Circle down here. All right. And, you know what? Am I doing this wrong? You can still pick up and drop off dogs in this neighborhood, including the dog beneath the wire. Okay. Okay. So I'm not sure if I've done this yet. I don't think I have, but the reason why you have the meeples on here is because when one of the AI's meeples are on this, you cannot do the neighborhood action. So. There's a possibility that I might have cheated there, but I don't think I did. Um, will you be filming slash going live next week or take a break for the holidays? I think I will most likely be taking it off. Um, I do have quite a few videos that I want to get done before the holidays. So 
I think it would be best for me to take it off, but we will see. I might end up doing one. What are the dates next week? I think it is the 18th to the 22nd. I might actually not be taking off next week. I might be taking off the week after that. So I might be taking off the week of the 25th to the 29th, or actually 25th to 31st, actually. So it might be the week after Christmas that I take off. We'll see. Um, but I will definitely let you guys know, either on Discord or on here. Hey, everyone. This is Mackenzie, one of the designers of Bark Avenue. I can only take credit for playtesting the solo mode, though, as it was mainly designed by Jonathan and Jacqueline from Pudgy Cat Games. Yes. I, I'm i liking it so far. Honestly, I really, really appreciate that you guys didn't make the opponents like super finicky. It's really easy because you're, you're pretty much just like manipulating what dogs the AI gets. That's all you really have to think about is what dogs do I not want the AI to get? And if you don't want to get them or if you don't want them to get them, you have to get them yourself. And that kind of makes sense because it's like if you don't want your opponent or your competitor to walk that dog, you have to walk that dog yourself. It makes a lot of thematic sense. So, um, all right. Where was I? These have moved. I realized that, yes, it blocks off the neighborhood actions. So you can go to these spots to drop off or pick up a dog, but you cannot perform the neighborhood actions. I knew there was something more about these meeples. So I'm like, why are they here? I now remember. All right. So I have Tegan. Um, I picked up Tegan. It's the end of the round. We moved this forward. We put pet carrier in. So I believe it is now my turn. So I do get to now roll the die, the city die. I do have to take my first move that way. And we can only move three. So Tegan wants to do the fire hydrant. So I think I might actually go one, two, three. All right. And I'm going to perform the fire hydrant so she can get her happy tail. I'm not going to take an extra action with my coffee. I don't really think there's anything that I could do. I could purchase another coffee, but I don't want to do that. Um, there's also Roxy, but she's a solo dog, so she's not going to be getting picked up. I think maybe I want to try to go and pick up Mifa, possibly. Mifa's at Columbus Circle, so I could go one, two, three, and I could pick up Mifa here. We'll see. That is everything for my turn. I'm going to move this to here. This is... oh. Just kidding. Can't get Mifa. <laughs> the AI is getting Mifa. <laughs> Thank you. We wanted to make sure the solo mode had uh, the least maintenance as possible. Yeah, honestly, Mackenzie, that's one of like the things about solo modes that I really enjoy is when they just are easy. I hate solo modes where like I'm taking even more time on the AI's turn than my turn, so... Oh, also, hello, Vortac. I didn't even see you come in. Welcome to the stream. How are you? You may have Tegan, but do you also have Sarah? Is there a dog named Sarah in the game, Mackenzie? <laughs> I don't know if there is. I don't think there is. I don't remember seeing one. Okay. Um. So, unfortunately, yes. Because we are moving on to this next round here, Mifa is going to be taken by the blue AI. And Huxley? Oh, look at Huxley. Oh my goodness. So stinking cute. Huxley is going to be taken by this AI here. I am losing miserably. Come on, Penny. Where are you, Penny? No Penny. <laughs> Sad. 
sadness. Okay, so that is everything for that. It is now my turn. I am going to, again, roll the city die. Please, Tegan, can you poop, ma'am? Thank you. Good girl. Poopy time. <laughs> I think I might go and pick up one of these. Who do I want to pick up? That's my question. I could go pick up Apollo. Or I could pick up Freckles. Freckles is a foster dog. None of them are going to help me for my objective. Um, but I think that's, that's okay with me. Um, I do have to pick up either one of these two. So, I could go one, two, three and pick up Apollo. Or I could go one, two, three and pick up Freckles. I think I'm going to pick up Freckles. So it would be nice to get a foster dog. So, one, two, three. We are going to pick up Freckles. Boom. Freckles is going to go here. So freaking cute. He actually has freckles. I don't know if you guys can see, but he literally has freckles and he's the cutest boy. Adorable. No, sorry, no, Sarah. <laughs> There's so many cute dog names in this game, I'm not going to lie. People have some really, like, creative dog names. We did dog advent calendars last year, and we would do theirs when we did ours. By the day three, they knew that when our calendars came out, theirs were right behind. That's so cute. Hello, all. First time catching a live stream. Behorn, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Thank you so much for joining. Hopefully you enjoy watching me walk dogs. It's a great time. I am well. How are you? I'm good. I feel like at the beginning of the stream, definitely recommend not watching the beginning of the stream because my brain was not working. I think I was still waking up, even though I woke up like four hours ago, five hours ago. Jesus. My brain was just not working. Okay. Um, anyways, I do need to remember actually... This is one thing that I do need to remember, is whenever the dogs get shifted over, we need to move where their meeples are. So this one is actually down here, and this one is here. All right, so I picked up, flip these over. Pickle, pickle! Oh my God, freaking pickle. Look at pickle. <laughs> I'm obsessed with pickle. We still haven't seen Penny though. I am I am very sad right now. Okay, so we picked up freckles. This goes on here to one. Um picked up freckle. Could I do anything there? I'm not gonna do an extra action. Um I still do have half my coffee, so I could do another action, but I'm not going to yet. Um but Tegan is gonna give me get moved one space forward and that is the end of my turn so we are going to move the sun tracker to the next spot we are going to discard that and get a new event this happens automatically replace replace all available dogs with new dogs oh <gasps> penny might come out guys goodbye pickle Discard there. One. Oh no. Two. Three. Four. Guys. Penny's here. Penny. Penny, no. You can't be walked by someone else, girly pants. You can't. Oh my god, she's so darn cute. Shoot. This is not good. This is not good at all. Penny is going to be taken on the next round. No. Guys, this is not good. Pickle is my personal favorite. Pickle is too darn cute. I'm so sad right now. No, Penny. 
It won't be stolen. How do I, how can I do this? How can I do this? I don't think I can do it. Because I still need to, to walk Tegan for one more round, right? Can I drop off a dog early? Is that a thing that I can do? Even if I drop her off now, Penny is at 72 and West End. So I need to get all the way down there. I'm not going to be able to get all the way down there. And I can't drop off and pick up a dog on the same turn unless they're at the same location. Honestly, I was thinking, Sam, uh, so like, you know, when I was flipping these out, really I should have gone from this to, to this. So technically, Penny should be here. Archie should be here. Carly should be here. And Dos, Dos should be here. I think that's technically what I should have done. <laughs> so we're going to do that, okay? Because I cannot have Penny not be walked by me, okay? I will cry. So let's remind ourselves we do need to move these. Blue is going to go to Lincoln Square. Yellow is going to go to 96 and West End. And Penny will not be taken by one of the AIs. Perfect. Haha. -ha. Yes. That's what I should have done. You know, that's what should have been done, obviously. <laughs> okay. So, I need... Tegan is good. Tegan has all that she needs. So, she just needs to get walked for one more round. And then I can go drop her off. So, we can do something for Freckles. Freckles likes tennis. So let's do, and we're going three. Actually, I need to remember. We need to roll the die. Come on, freckles, poop. Nope. Oh, no. So we have to go up first. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go one, two, three. Okay. Because whenever I roll the pigeon, whatever way it is facing, that's the first action, or that's the first direction you must go on your first move. And I'm going to take a picture of cute little freckles. So that's going to go there. And then these are going to move. So it goes to the end for Tegan. Tegan now needs to get home, which is good because we are pretty much, or we are already on her home. So yeah, so we can just do one, two, three, and then drop her off. All right. So that's everything there. We are going to move this to here. Blue is going to get Dus. And yellow is going to get Carly. Adorable. These are going to get moved to Penny. Oh, I better get Penny or I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to be so sad. Okay. Ooh, Carly is actually a pretty good one for... Ooh. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Um, oh, just a small correction. When you earn a star, you start by taking off the bottom star first and then working your way up. So, Dog Park should be the first star you unveil. Oh, okay. Good to know. There we go. Which, that does mean that I'm technically not supposed to have this coffee cup, but I know for next time. Thank you so much, Mackenzie. Um, checks out. <laughs> Shh, you didn't see, Brian. You didn't see what happened. I don't even know if I'll be able to get Penny, to be honest with you. We'll see what happens. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so we moved down. They got their dogs. We now need to move. Uh, blue needs to go to 86 and West End. And then yellow needs to go to 72 and West End. There we go. And it is now back to me. 
So, roll this. Really? So this is technically pointing like this direction, but it will be down. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, back up to 96 in Amsterdam so that I can drop off Tegan. Is that what I, yes, that is what I wanna do because I do need another space so that I can pick up Penny. The only thing is, how am I going to get to Penny? One, two, three, four. No. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to Penny in time. No. So where was I? I was here. And I have to go down. I think that's really the only thing that I can do. I guess I could go one. Shoot. Ugh. Yeah, that's all I can do is I can go one, two, three, because I can't go back on myself. One, two, three. Dang, that makes me so sad. I guess I just have to. Ooh, Bark Avenue, is this sponsored? I have a question, but don't want to ask if so. It is not sponsored. All right, so we dropped off. Tegan and I did get all three of her things here so I do get six dollars in tips so I'll grab one of these six dollars in tips and then I also do gain 16 so six 12 13 14 15 16 I'm made of money. Ooh, ooh, made of money. Okay. I'm so sad right now. <laughs> I'm so sad. I don't think we're going to make it to Penny before she gets picked up. <gasps> oh, I get an extra $2. Okay, what's better? Dog Park or Bark Avenue? Or are they just too different to compare? Um, I think they're very different. This one is a pick up and deliver game, whereas Dog Park is a, um, like, closed bidding or, like, uh, secret bidding slash tableau building. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of bidding games. The bidding in dog park is not like horrible um you're basically just bidding with your points in order to get dogs that you want um it's fun i really enjoy both of them but i do think that they are way too different to compare um even like the art styles are completely different um the gameplay is completely different and they just feel very different so i don't think i can compare them but I will say that I do have a little bit of a bias in the fact that my dog is in Bark Avenue. <laughs> uh, this is Penny right here. That is my baby girl. So I'm always going to have a soft spot for this game because Penny is in it. Um, but I do genuinely really enjoy both of them. So it's really just whatever uh, mechanics speak to you more and whatever look of a game that speaks to you more. So... If you like set collection, tableau building, and betting, then I would say, I don't know if it's betting. Is it like auction? Hidden auction? I don't know what it is, but um, basically you're setting how much, you're putting a meeple onto a dog that you want, and then you're setting how much you want to pay, how many victory points you want to pay in order to get that dog. Um, and then if another person goes to that dog as well, um, you both... Uh, reveal how much you're willing to pay and then whoever's willing to pay more gets that dog and then you're kind of just left with another dog. So I don't know if that's bidding or if that is auctioning, but yeah, if you enjoy those kind of uh, mechanisms, there's a little bit of resource management in Dog Park as well. Um, you know, whatever speaks to you. This is like pick up deliver. 
as well as um, a bit of like set collection, kind of resource management in a way, and also like objectives and stuff. Um, whatever speaks to you more, I would say. Yeah, Dog Park is bidding with VP as the resource. Yep, yeah, exactly. I dislike bidding mechanics genu genu generally, but Dog Parks was all right, other than that its set collection resource management is the main goal of the game. Yep, yeah, exactly. So whatever mechanics speak to you more. <laughs> okay, so... Where was I? I just dropped off Tegan. Tegan will then allow me to do this, which I can do. I'm going to do any walk. So I'm going to put that there. And I think I was saying that I do get an additional $2 because we are on surge pricing. So I get an extra $2 for dropping off Tegan. Woohoo! So that is everything for my turn. We are going to move Freckles to his third. And then we are going to move this to here. We're going to discard the event and put out a new event, which is Modified Service. You may not cross Central Park while... Oh, this is for uh, three plus players. So we're going to ignore that one. Bring out a new one. This is rats. Treat pigeons and squirrels as rats. Uh, chase rats two spaces instead of one, but gain plus one speed. Ooh. Let's hope I get that. Thanks for the answer. The dog games in my collection are dog lovers, dog lover and spots. I love dog lover. That's a good one. I haven't played Spots yet. I've only played it on BGA, which I enjoyed it on BGA, but I do want to play it in person. Um, okay. So, these are still on the correct spots. We're good. Let's move on to my turn. So, we are going to roll this die. Please be the pigeon pointing down so I can have an extra step. So I can get to Penny. Please, please. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Did you guys see that? Do you see this right now? We're gonna get to Penny! So treat pigeons and squirrels as rats. Chase rats two spaces instead of one. So I do have to move two spaces down. One, two. And then I do have an additional four. I think. No. Wait. But gain one speed. So, I actually only have three, but that's fine. One, two, three. I still get to Penny. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Guys, that was really exciting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really happy right now. That was literally perfect. Like, what are the odds that I get the pigeon rolled, but also it's in the right direction? Crazy. Okay, so I get to pick up Penny. Thank God, it's meant to be. Penny Rose. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is crazy. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. So I can't do anything else here because this is here. Um, but this is going to get moved down. New dog is going to come out. These are going to be moved. Um, Archie, this one does not move. But then this one moves to 96 in Amsterdam. All right. And then both of these move. Boom. Boom. This one has reached his walk limit. So he needs to get home. Freckles. So that actually means that I need to get Freckles moving here. Uh, he needs to poop. And he also needs to play some fetch. That's so cute. I love this. I'm so happy that Penny's here with me. This is my favorite thing ever. All right. So that is everything for my turn. We are going to move to the next round. 
So we are going to give this dog to Blue, which is not great because it is a medium dog. And it moves five. Oh no, this is not good. And this one here is going to Yellow. All right. These are going to move down. We have Dexter in the house. If you guys do not know, Dexter is Monique and Naveen from Before You Play Their Dog. Let me zoom out. Yay, Penny! I'm so excited, you have no idea. There she is. There's my sweet girl. She's getting to be walked by Mama. Okay, so then Blue needs to move to 72 in Amsterdam. And Yellow needs to be moved to 86 in Amsterdam. All right. It's going to roll. Oh, poop! Woohoo! So I'm going to get Freckles to poop. All right. And then we need to get Freckles to here. But I need to stop somewhere that's going to allow me to play ball. One, two, three. Yeah, I think I'm going to go there. So I'm going to go one, two, three into the park. This is going to allow me to do any of these actions here. Um, I do have to have this unlocked in order to do that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let me refresh my memory on parks. Dog park requires one star. Move all your dog's walk tracker tokens one space on the walk tracks. Oh. That, that happens right away? It does. Dogs are more likely to poop in the park. <laughs> okay, so I do have to move both of these here and here because I guess they are exerting more energy. I believe that's like the thematic tie to going to the park. Um, so I do have to move those up an extra spot, but I'm also going to do this action here. So that's going to get Freckles his happy tail like so and that is going to be my turn there so then these move so actually penny's moves to there this moves to here this moves to here oh goodness penny's almost late already i shouldn't have taken her to the park <laughs> shoot one of them is going to be late this is unfortunate. And I haven't even done anything for Penny yet. Oh no, Penny. What have you done, girly? <laughs> I'm not good at this game. Uh, Jenna, Nat can't come. He is busy, busy. Um, but he would love to be here. I tried to get Stacy and Sreb, but they must be busy as well. No problem. I never expect you all to be here all the time. I understand everyone has lives, so... All good. Happy to have you here, though, Brian. Okay. So. Yeah, I didn't realize that Penny... Penny doesn't walk for very long. Which is... It makes sense, because in real life, Penny doesn't go for very long. Yep. Exactly. So you kind of like fast forward their walk a little bit because you don't have to walk them as long because they were exerting more energy in the park. 
All right, so that is everything for my turn. I moved their things over, so then it is the next round. This gets discarded. New event comes out. So this is the take photo action costs two dollars. Oh dang. Well that sucks. Okay, so who who's okay to be late? Honestly, it's okay if Penny's late because she's literally my dog, but I want to make sure that I think it makes more sense for me to get Penny home late because Freckles is going to get me some points based off of everything that I've gotten done. So let me quickly check here. If you're returning a dog late, the walk tracker token is moved up to the... Oh, I might actually be able to get them both home. Yeah, so you just have to uh, ignore any of the tips. Okay. So, I might actually be able to get them both home. Um, I just need to make sure that I can reach there. So, if I go one, two, three, one, two, three. I think I should be able to do it, actually. So... Unless this is going to force me a certain way, I do get to roll the park die because I am starting my turn in... Do I still have these in the right places? I do. Because I'm starting the turn in the park, I get to roll the park die. Hopefully Penny will poop. Good girl, Penny! Go poopoos! Good job! Um, which also, because technically I couldn't have gotten this coffee, I'm just going to put it back. Um, because I didn't have the star unlocked yet. So then I'm going to move one, two, three to here. I'm going to drop off Freckles. So Freckles is going to go here. I get all three. Actually, these can move to here. So I get six, two, four, six in tips but then because it's a foster dog i don't get any money for that but i am able to take a star and go to foster dog spot here that's going to allow for me to walk up to three dogs now which is awesome but i honestly don't think i'm going to get there in time um i got to go but thanks so much for playing park avenue solo mode you're welcome thank you so much for joining mackenzie um i appreciate it Hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for making a, a fun game. And also for, uh, like I told you on Instagram, for including my dog in the game and like allowing her to live on forever in a game. It's very special. So thank you so much. Congrats on all the success of Bark Avenue so far. All right. So that's everything for my turn. This goes to here, so I need to make sure that I can get Penny back by the end of this next round. So, this is going to move to here. This is going to go to here. Dexter's going to go to here. These will get moved down, like so. Aw, Charlie. That's so cute. And Lily. So cute. And Norbert and Monkey. Are you kidding me? These names are the cutest I've ever heard in my life. Okay, so Blue is going to be staying here. And then this is going to be going to Columbia Circle here. All right. So I'm going to roll the city die. I get one extra step. Cool. I don't think that's going to really matter because in order for me to not get Penny late, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to drop off Penny as my action. I did get her to poop, but I didn't get a picture of her or let her do her favorite thing, which fun fact is sniffing fire hydrants. So she does get me two points. 
which I will also say that I think in the last round when I dropped off freckles, it was technically uh, surge pricing. So I do get another two for that, but it is now not surge pricing, so I don't get an extra two. But I do get 14 points for dropping off Penny. So six and six is 12 plus two. We got 14 for dropping off Miss Penny. I've dropped off four dogs so far. Doing pretty good. Okay, these get placed here. And that is everything for my turn. So this is going to get discarded. We're gonna move on to the next round, which is going to be a new event. Boom. I do need to pick up a dog. That is the one thing that I need to do right now is I need to pick up a dog because when we go to the next round, we are not going to be able to get any more dogs. So what dog is going to get me the most? I'm not going to roll the die and I have four, four movement. So it looks like Lily is most likely going to get me the most points, which also when I dropped off Penny, when I dropped off Penny, that got me one of each size dog, well-rounded, because Penny's a small, Tegan's a medium, and Killen is a large. So actually, when I dropped off Penny, I am able to put a star on here for well-rounded. Awesome sauce. Is there anything here that would get me one more of these? Expert. So both Freckles and Tegan are medium. If you manage to drop off three of the same dog size, you get that. Um, local, if you drop off three from the same Hmm. Because if I manage to get one more good review, that's going to get me $10. $10. Hmm. So I think I might actually pick up Charlie. I think I might pick up Charlie. I think that's the best to do. Ooh, dog park. This is actually Bark Avenue. Hello, board game. Garden, switch it up today. And eating Taco Bell at the moment. Oh, dang. Yummy. I'm excited for my copy of Fox Experiment. Should be arriving today. Ooh, Kim, congrats. I really enjoyed uh, the Fox Experiment when I played it. I need to play it again, though. I really enjoyed it. I also want to play it multiplayer because I've only played it solo so far. Um, it's a good one. Okay, so I have a... I can move four times. Excuse me. And I want to pick up Charlie. So, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 to 72 and West End. I'm going to pick up Charlie. Charlie's going to go here. We're going to put this paw here. All right. And that's going to be that. Because I just picked up Charlie, this is not going to move. So that's everything for my turn. This gets pushed down. This gets flipped over. Oh my goodness. Look at Rocket. He's so cute. I love it. Uh, yeah, I have switched several solo streams now. I've watched several solo streams now and everyone loved it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. <gasps> Welp, time to order Taco Bell. Honestly, babe, like I wouldn't say no to Taco Bell. It would be better though if we actually drove to Taco Bell. Because like getting Taco Bell delivered, it always ends up being cold when you get it. But like at the same time, I'm still too lazy to drive all the way to Taco Bell. So like I wouldn't say no. We could go to the mall. The mall has Taco Bell. <laughs> and we could get a little bit of Christmas shopping done. Could do that. All right, anyways. What else do I need to do here? 
So I picked up Charlie. I think that is everything. So this is going to move down to here, which this means that all dogs are taken away. <laughs> Does that mean that I'm pretty sure actually the AIs get these cards because um, they're supposed to have seven cards at the end. So monkey actually goes here and Norbert goes here. So at the end of the game, the AI is going to have seven, seven, seven different dogs. <laughs> um, these designers are very inspiring to me. Sorry for the wrong name. I have dog park at home. Very nice. Can they now make a game about cats? I have six in my house. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Francis, can you pick me up Taco Bell too? <laughs> the tacos are always broken on the bottom. See, that's why I always get the soft shell. I hate when you get hard shell tacos and it's broken at the bottom. I want food now and I got an hour of work left. Oh, you talk about Jack and Lottie Hazel or Mackenzie and Jonathan Junk. You never know. From Birdwood Games, for sure, George. McDonald's is better. <laughs> Thanks, bro. You can keep Catan for a day. I won't tell you or Jenna to call it for a full 24 hours. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You haven't started your Christmas shopping yet? Dad, everyone, John Beasley in chat is my dad. Everyone say ho hello to Father Beasley. <laughs> I, I have dad. I have, okay? I've gotten a few things delivered so far, but I still do need to get stuff for mom. I'm already finished you, dad. Um, I need to get stuff for mom. I need to get stuff for uh, both of the secret Santas and I need to get stuff for Tom and Asha and I need to get a little bit of so little something for uh, possibly Steph and Kat and possibly Aiden and Tyler. We'll see. I haven't decided if I want to get little gifts for friends or not. Afternoon, how's it going? Brian, it is going well. We are pretty much done with our game of uh, Bark Avenue. I'm almost done and we'll see how I, I did because I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to beat the AIs or not. I didn't really pay attention too much to what dogs I was giving them. I'm not going to lie. I kind of just stopped caring about which dogs I was giving the AI and I just, I just walked my dogs. Oh, everyone's saying hello to my my dad. <laughs> uh, I'm so behind on Christmas shopping. Sam, honestly, I'm behind on Christmas shopping every year. It's bad. Okay, at least I'm done. <laughs> yeah, dad, you were easy to shop for. You're always easy to shop for. <laughs> At John Beasley, Jenna wants all the board games for Christmas. <laughs> Guys, I have been, I've been bad recently. I have so many board games. I am literally staring at the pile that I got from PAX Unplugged. I brought home like almost 30 board games from PAX Unplugged. That's bad. <laughs> that is so bad. And then I got like some board games for my birthday. It's bad. Dad Beasley is getting socks, obviously. <laughs> I'm sure he would love socks. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're so funny, Dad. All right. I just need to double check what these icons at the end mean. And then we can finish up the last few rounds. Um... Okay, so this is wind down. Discard available dogs. Discard all available dog cards from the top of the city board. No new dogs may be picked up for the rest of the game. Wind down. Discard the current event card from the city board so that no event uh, is in play. No event card will be in effect for the rest of the game. Okay. Mm. All right. 
think we're good. So this here. When did I put out this card? Was it this round? I think it was, but I think I'm fine. Buy Legos, Jenna. Honestly, there has been some really cute Lego that I've seen. I counted. I have 69 unplayed games before I unwrap Xmas gifts. I, I probably need to do a count of how many unplayed games I have on my shelves. Because it's probably bad. What is happening? Children? Children? Hello. Oh my god. I've been brought a cell phone that has Taco Bell opened on Uber Eats, everyone. It's happening. Everyone wants to know my, my order. Walt wants a burrito. <laughs> buy one, get one free. <gasps> Cheesy gordita crunches are buy one, get one free. Yeah, I think I might. I love the cheesy gordita crunches. The Taco Bell just got delivered. Dun, dun, dun. What does George want? <laughs> George, what do you want? I actually have George's address. I could send George Taco Bell. On my phone, yeah. No, no, I could do it on my oh, phone. Because okay. we need to order our Taco Bell on your phone. What is this? That's awesome. No cheese. Should... It's crazy that they say extra cheese is $1.52. That's insane. Because, like, they hardly put any cheese on. $12 value box, Jenna. What is that? The kids are mad. You have so many unplayed games. Yeah. Yeah. What are you getting, babe? Uh, it's like a value Oh, he is getting a value box. He's getting a Chalupa Supreme bean. Soft taco bean. Cheesy bean and rice burrito. Dang, that's actually good. For 15 bucks? For 15 bucks, you get three things plus a drink and fries. Whew. That's pretty good. Um, so I'm getting two cheesy gordita crunches. Yeah, see, Ryan... Ryan just said, don't think, $12. Don't think, $12 value box. See, but like, do we have $12? Our, ours are not $12. Ours are $15 yeah. value boxes. They might, they might, they might uh, hike it up for Uber, probably. Cheesy gordita, Mexican pizza, and grilled cheese fries? What the heck's grilled cheese fries? You guys have some crazy stuff in the States. Specialties? Oh my god. Just hurry it up. I'm so hungry. Aw, oh, you so hungry. I didn't eat lunch or breakfast. What? Are you crazy? The work was too busy. That's not an excuse. You're just delaying. I'm you always have lunch. time to get food. You're delaying. You should have got food at Lost Aviator. You could have got a... a they didn't have their bacon. Big bakery stuff, yeah. Uh, that's a lie. I went too early. No, lies. I'm also getting a fry supreme, baby. Okay, that's me. Two cheesy gordita crunches and a fry supreme. Bam. Oh my god, what did I start? <laughs> Thanks, babe. Thanks for Taco Bell. I'm going to be having Taco Bell at f like 4 p.m. This is my dinner. So a $12 value box is a beef burrito, chalupa, soft taco, fries, and a drink. Yeah, I think that's pretty much what Francis got, but he got like the vegetarian version um, because he doesn't eat beef or pork. <laughs> oh no, Taco Bell causing... <laughs> A marital dispute. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are done. We are done. These are getting discarded. 
Lily and Rocket. Cutest puppers. It is now this round, which I will say it is rainy day for this round. So I get one less movement. So I'm actually still at a three movement. So Charlie, please poop, sir. Nope, he just peed. Bad boy. Um, Charlie wants to go to a fire hydrant. So I'm going to go one, two. Hmm. Oh, yeah, these also get taken off the board. Three. Then I'm going to do one action here, which is going to be his fire hydrant action. That's going to get him his happy tail. All right. That is everything for my turn. This gets moved forward. This also gets moved forward. This gets taken away. So I am back to having four movement, which is good. I have two more turns and I'm hoping to get all three of these things done. So for movement, I'm gonna roll the die again. Charlie, please poop. Poop. Oh no, that's not good. I have to, because of this pigeon, I have to move this way. But I was hoping to get to the purple and I'd have to go to the pink. So I'll go one, two, three, four. Charlie has still not pooped yet, but I am going to get a picture for one action. Oopsie. Here. Okay. This moves up. We go to the last round. This is your last opportunity, Charlie, to poop, sir. Please poop. Please poop. I would greatly appreciate you pooping. Come on, Charlie. Oh, you guys can't see the board. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> Ryan, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the games I own that Jenna said she wanted to play uh, for at John Beasley. Uh, have you ate anything else today? I have ate today. Francis is the crazy one that hasn't eaten today. I had breakfast at like... 10, 10 30. When hubby and I start disagreeing during board game, friends are like, are you getting, are you having a marital? <laughs> oh my goodness. At John Weasley does coffee count. I did have coffee too. See, funny, funny thing is, Kim, is with my family, we do have like Christmas lists and I purposefully did not ask for any board games because I already have so many board games on my unplayed list that I just, I don't need them. I truly do not need them. So I decided to not ask for any board games this year, which makes me a little bit sad, but there are other things that I wanted more. Um... Specifically, like, things for our house, for, like, our kitchen and stuff, and as well as my office. So, yeah, I did not ask for any board games. Shock. In that case, yes, we have all had other food today. Millennials stand united with their addiction to coffee. Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Whole different meeting. Oh, my gosh, Kim. Give me some chocolate, Charlie. Give me some chocolate. Nope. We didn't get chocolate. We got some pee. Okay. So that is okay. It just means that I'm not going to get a $2 tip, but that's okay. So we're going to go with Charlie. One, two, three, four. For my last turn, we are going to drop off Charlie. Oh, am I not able to drop off Charlie? Because I haven't walked him for long enough. Shoot, I don't think I can drop off Charlie. Asks for a backsplash. <laughs> Adult gifts. Honestly, that's something that I need. George, I need it real bad. We haven't had a backsplash for like over a year now. 
Dang it. I don't think I can drop off. That's the solo mode. Um, on any turn after a dog has walked their minimum walk length, aka their walk tracker token has flipped to the house side. No! I should have taken him to the park. I should have taken him to the park. That's very unfortunate. I should have taken a dog that I counted their, like, a, amount of rounds they needed. Honestly, I wouldn't have been able to do any of them, actually. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I don't have enough rounds. <sighs> you lose. You get nothing. Good day, sir. <laughs> I need to watch Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory again. All right. Well, what do I do on my turn then? Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything, honestly. Actually, do you know what I can do? I think what this icon here means, there's like a little coffee cup and a star. I think what that means is if I'm at a spot that has a coffee shop, let me quickly check that this is what this means. Um, maybe not. If you have returned all your dogs before the end of the final three turns, you may now use your coffee shop advertisement neighborhood action to pin up your great reviews in the coffee shops around the city. As an action, you may take one of your earned review stars from your city board and place it on an empty coffee shop at your location, covering the coffee shop action. Each coffee shop may only have one review star. Advertisements are worth $4 each at the end of the game. See, the thing is, I haven't dropped off all the dogs, so I don't think I can do that. But, like, what else do I do? I don't, I don't have anything to do. There's no action that I can do. I could buy a coffee, but I don't want to buy a coffee. So I think I might just be done, unfortunately. So I think that's going to be the end of the game. And we're going to have to count up all of these points. So... Unfortunately, I did not get Charlie home. Yeah, because I got Charlie here. One, two, three. Yeah. He wasn't walked for long enough. Literally one turn, I could have finished it, but it's okay. So let's discard these. Put these over here. That makes me so sad because I wasn't able to get this star off the board either. Dang. It's okay. It was my first time. Alright, so let me get the calculator out. We're going to calculate... Let's calculate the AI's scores first. So let's calculate the blue player. So the blue player is going to get six points for each medium dog. So we have one medium dog, two medium dog, three medium dogs. So three times six is 18. Plus they're going to get three points per number. So four times three, so 12 plus nine plus... Uh, wrong, wrong thing, wrong thing. Supposed to be doing the speed. So 18 plus 3 times 5, so 15, plus 3 times 4, 12, plus 15, plus 9, plus 12, plus uh, 9, plus 15. So 105, oh gosh. <laughs> you took someone's dog for a walk and never brought them home. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So plus 
12 plus 1. Okay, so blue player has 118. Someone could remember that. Blue, actually let me do it here. Blue equals 118. There we go, so I can remember that. And then yellow is going to get six points per small dog. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh my God. Five times six, so they have 30 points for their small dogs. Plus 12. Plus nine. Plus 12. Plus 15. Plus nine plus nine plus 12. Okay. And then as for their favorite things, we got two water. So that is plus four plus one tennis ball is another four plus four fire hydrants. So another four. So the second AI has 20. Blue has 18. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Yellow equals 120. Blue has 18. Yellow has, or blue has, good Lord. Blue has 118. Yellow has 120. And then I, what do I have? I don't know if I gain any points for unfinished dogs. I don't think I do. Let me check. Solar dog walking scoring. You score your game as normal. Okay, so how... Where is the final scoring here? Final scoring. After the final round, total your dogs earned for dogs tips, reviews, personal goals, and advertisements. The walker who earns the most points is the winner. So I add together the dogs, that, that, and that. Okay. So I have already given myself all of the points for these dogs here. Um, all right. So I have one, two, three dogs like this. So that gets me 15 points for my personal objective here which is $5 per dog that has a speed of three, plus six, 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 plus six plus another six, plus two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Ooh, I did not do good at all. Oh no. So I ended with 83. That's so bad. Why did I do so bad? Why am I so bad at board games? Oh, that's unfortunate. I think that's everything. I wonder if I actually got Charlie home, how many points I would have gotten. Because I would have been able to take this off. So I would have been at 83 plus 10. Plus, I would have gotten 4 for the tips. Plus 12 for Charlie himself. Yeah, and then I would have gotten plus five because he has, oh no, he doesn't have a speed of three. So I would have still lost, even if I got, <laughs> thanks dad, <laughs> you have 83. <laughs> so even if I got Charlie home in time, I still would have lost. I would have got 109. Man, you'd think me playing board games all the time, I would be good at them, but apparently not. <laughs> it's all good it's all good i play board games to 
enjoy the journey, not the destination. So anyways, thank you guys all so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for uh, playing Bark Avenue with me. I was very, very happy that we actually got to walk Penny. I don't know if you saw Dad, but I, I walked Penny over here. See? I walked Penny! She actually came out and I got to walk her, so... Yay! That is the highlight of the stream. That's all I wanted. Jenna distracted by cute dogs, not points. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. Anyways, thank you all so much for hanging out. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of your Friday. I will be streaming on Sunday. I will be streaming Paperback Adventures, which I am very excited about. Uh, I don't expect when you come to that stream to have someone that is good at, at coming up with words because I am horrible at spelling. I'm horrible of coming up with words. So if you guys do come to the Paperback Adventures uh, live stream on Sunday morning, please help me. Come to the stream and help me spell words. I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Jenna. Everyone have a great day. Yes, everyone have a good rest of your Friday. Have a good weekend. I think Francis and I are having like a pretty chill weekend. Um, after I go off stream today, I'm going to go and I'm going to edit my life away because I have like three or four videos to edit. Um, I have a few Patreon videos to edit. Which if you guys do not know, if you sign up for my Patreon, you can sign up for any level and I do every once in a while have extra videos go up there. I pretty much do like vlog style board game night type vlog videos, which I absolutely love. So if you guys want to do that, definitely check out my Patreon. I never expect it, but it is greatly appreciated if you are part of the Patreon. Um, it really helps me out with uh, finances and stuff. So I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you to all my patrons. You guys are wonderful. Um, expect a new Patreon vlog to be up um, either later today or tomorrow. I'm going to try to get it up today. Um, it is a board game shopping day that I did with my friends uh, Kat and Steph. I did get some board games then. So uh, yeah, we went to, I think we went to like five different board game stores and it was a lot of fun vlogging that and shopping, obviously. Uh, love you, sweetie. Enjoy your Taco Bell. Love you, dad. I can't wait to see you guys. Um, I miss you guys so much. It's been way too long. But it is almost Christmas and we get to spend lots of time together. And I'm very, very excited. Fun fact, my parents are coming to Francis' family's Christmas on Christmas Eve. So I, I honestly am so thankful that both Francis and I's families get along. Uh, it just makes me so incredibly happy. So yeah, my parents are joining for Christmas on Christmas Eve with Francis's family. And then the next day on Christmas Day, we are going to my parents' house for uh, Christmas with my family. So yeah, hopefully you guys have a good weekend. Like I said, hi, Jenna. Ooh, you're swamped this weekend. Hopefully you get some time to chill a bit. I will. I'm not actually too swamped this weekend, Tim. I I have some work to do today, but then this weekend is a pretty, pretty chill weekend. I'm not going to lie. Have a great night, everyone. Bye, everyone. I will see you on Sunday. Hopefully, you guys, again, have a good weekend. I've said that 15,000 times, but you guys are probably used to it already. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much. See you later. <laughs>